Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to your favorite girl. That's me, by the way. If you're new here, my name is Jasmine Rosette, and today's video is a life update slash channel update video. But before we get into today's video, I would ask that you would give this video a thumbs up if you like any portion of it. Subscribe so you can keep up to date with me and all things that I am doing. And comment down below, say hi, I say hi back. And without any further ado, let's get into this update video. So this is going to be two parts. I'm going to start with the channel updates and then I'm going to end with the life updates. And they both kind of go together in terms of cha changes that you're going to be seeing. But yeah, I'm really, really excited. So let's get into it. Alrighty, so the channel updates. First things first, I'm going to be doing weekly videos, like uploading to YouTube. You're going to see me at least once a week, at least. So you might see me twice, you might see me thrice, but for sure you'll see me at least once. And I'll be uploading on Mondays, sometime on Monday, I think Monday morning, but you'll see me at least once a week, which leads me into my next update for the channel. I really do like doing the weekly vlogs of showing you everything that I'm eating, my workouts, and kind of just talking of just like general life stuff and you know how I'm doing and all that stuff. But which it will make more sense towards the end of the video as well. I am going to stop doing that and I'm going to go to like what I eat in a day kind of daily vlog just because it's shorter, it's easier to edit with my schedule with work, especially right now. I'm just really, really busy and I need something that is just easier to edit so that I have more time to be more consistent on this channel, which then leads me to my next portion. I know a lot of leading up to things, but essentially I want this to be a lifestyle channel. Like I love sharing my weight loss journey, but I've talked about it a few times. My weight loss journey is not the end all be all for me. I am on a fitness journey overall. I want to gain strength. I don't just want to lose weight. Right now I'm losing weight because that is the portion of my journey that I'm focusing on right now, but eventually it's going to go more into gaining more strength, different types of strength, trying to figure out like if CrossFit is something that I want to do or F45 or Orange Theory. Like there's just so many different ways of working out, um, weightlifting, uh, being a bodybuilder. Like there's just so many different things that you can do to gain strength and become stronger. And that's ultimately what I want to do. But right now I'm focusing on losing weight because that is something that I personally want to do and I feel better I honestly just feel better in my body when I am smaller and but also I have been working through a lot of my internalized fat phobia that I didn't realize that I had and I've been gaining a better relationship with food and just showing all of that all the time sometimes does put me in a negative headspace a little bit and I want to be more positive because I just, I, I want to be under, like, I want to be more positive in the fact that understanding for me personally, it can be kind of hard when you're just focusing on like weight loss and just that's all you talk about because that's not the end all be all for me. I want to talk about like being strong or even just like understanding that working out is really good for my mental health personally and I want to talk to that aspect of fitness as well I don't want to just speak to the weight loss portion of fitness because I feel like that can sometimes just really put myself in a negative headspace and I feel like that could also put other people in a negative headspace and I want it to just be more positive not only for you but like mainly for me because i'm the one who's filming this i'm the one who's editing this i'm the one who's putting it together and i i want to be feel good about what i'm posting so i'm going to be doing what i eat in a day videos and i'll share like workout with me videos so you'll get what i'm doing those workout with me videos will not be fast forwarded so you'll see the reps that i'm doing you'll see exactly what i'm doing the gym like all of it it's not that you weren't seeing that before, but I definitely was like putting it on like five times the speed to kind of just make the vlog very short. Otherwise the vlogs would be so long um, because the footage that I get, like when I'm filming those, it takes me like an hour 
an hour and a half sometimes to like work out. So that's like me doing like my ab exercises, my arms, my legs, and then being on the cardio machine for like 30 minutes. And that takes up a lot of footage. So that's like me trying to condense as much as I can down to an hour or even a little bit under an hour so that I'm not like putting a five hour vlog on YouTube. And it's just like, who has time to watch five hours? Like that's, that's a lot. That's a lot. And that's also a lot to edit. So yeah, having like a shorter video footage from the get go will make it more easier for me to be more consistent and share weekly videos with you guys. So yeah, I'm going to be doing weekly like videos on Mondays. I'll be uploading then and you'll see like what I eat on a day. You'll see more lifestyle stuff because I am interested in ethical and sustainable swaps that I'm trying to make. I've been doing that with the cause box unboxings. I'll link to in the cards like videos that I've done but that's kind of like my gateway into getting into more ethical and sustainable purchases so I want to share more with you guys and I have an idea of doing a haul video I recently purchased sustainable clothing and I'm wearing like one piece of clothing actually that's sustainable from somewhere that I bought recently and I want to do like a haul of just like these are affordable sustainable purchases that you can make as well that you may be interested in because it is something that I'm very interested in and interested in growing and learning more about because I want to be as conscientious of what I'm putting into my body but as well as what I'm putting on my body and the things that I use in my everyday life so those are videos that you can expect to see from me as well as like adulting videos I have an adulting 101 video I'll link that in the cards as well on how to budget. I've dealt with a lot of stuff with my car recently, um, as well as my previous car, and I feel like I can do a video on that. So there's just so many more ideas that I have and so much more that I want to share with you guys and film <laughs> and put on YouTube that I'm generally interested in. And so genuinely, not generally, genuinely interested in. And so I just, I wanna share that with you guys and make this a more multifaceted, channel instead of being like focused on one specific thing because at the end of the day my weight loss journey is not something that I'm going to be doing for the rest of my life because I want to focus on like my fitness at the end of the day I don't just go to the gym I don't just work out to lose weight I work out because it really helps with my mental health like a lot and when I stop doing it consistently I notice that my mental health kind of just like tanked I want to get stronger. That's another thing that I want to focus on. So yeah, there's there's a lot more to just like the fitness portion than me just losing weight. Like I want to gain strength. I want to be better with my mental health. I want to learn more about food and how like it affects my body and and yeah, and all that stuff. So that's kind of like the channel update. I expect to see different types of videos from me. Uh, as well as shorter videos so that they're not as long and taking up too much time because it takes me a long time to edit a five hour video and condense it down to an hour or even under an hour whereas if it's like the footage is you know 30 minutes or something it's so much easier to edit and it's so much quicker because i'm not having to cull through all the footage and I can get it up quicker on YouTube. So yeah, I hope you guys stick around for the changes that are coming to this channel. I'm really, really excited about it. I'm excited to share all these ideas because I have like a YouTube idea book of everything that I want to like film and like want to produce and all that stuff. And I also wanna make my videos like better quality as well. And I feel like that just, it gets harder when you have these weekly vlogs that just take up so much time and literally, I'm by myself doing this. I'm not working with other people to edit my video. Like I do every, like I set up, I film, all of that stuff by myself. If I'm on like a trip with someone, I might ask them to like, hey, can you like film the back of my head or something? Or like, you know, but majority of the time I'm, I do everything myself. So just wanted to state that, I'm trying to be more multifaceted because it's genuinely, it's genuinely what I'm interested in and want to share. All right, so the life update portion. Sure, you can tell by the title, but I'm moving. I'm very excited about it to be moving, moving to a new place. 
I did moving vlogs in the past. I'll link them up here. I'm doing a lot of links to videos in the cards up here. But yeah, I am moving when I first moved into this place. You can check out the videos, honestly, in the cards to see like my reaction. But essentially, we're moving to, I'm moving to, essentially, I'm moving to a bigger space and a brighter space because our, this current apartment is, is very dark. My bedroom is the only room that has like two windows. Um, my roommate's room only has one window and then for the kitchen dining room and living room It shares that patio door window essentially. So it's like dark Everywhere else minus the living room, but then also like we have a tree that's like in front of <laughs> Our patio so that it It just gets really dark in our apartment and it's not my favorite thing because I work from home and having a space that is just really dark does not make me super productive. It affects just like my motivation as well as my productivity. So I'm really excited to be moving when this lease is up, when this current lease is up. I'm super excited. And also, I don't think I've ever explained like what I do in my day job. But essentially in 2020, I started a new job in a new industry. So I work in IT, I work in tech. Literally at the beginning of 2020, I started a new job and then this panoramic happened in March. Started working from home, went through a lot of changes mentally also, just like went through a lot of changes, especially in the summer. Um, but yeah, worked through that and then the start of this year was like, okay, like I want to get even better at my current job. And then I saw an opportunity of growth for myself. So I applied to a new position, which is why I took some time off at the beginning of this year uh, for like a month or so in March, April, I think. And because I was preparing for the job, I was getting my certifications. I was updating my resume, my cover letter, then going through the interview process. I then got the job, which was really exciting. But then the job is not entry level. So the first job that I did at the beginning of 2020, throughout 2020 and then beginning of 2021, that was an entry level job. This new job that I started this year at beginning of quarter two is not really an entry level job. It's, it's not an entry level job. So it just requires a lot more from me. And I have... It's, it's more project-based work, like I'm doing a lot of project management, essentially. And it's a lot of projects that I work on every single day. So I'm constantly busy. I constantly have a lot of work to do. And it just requires more of me. And it feels like my first, like, big girl job, essentially. Because the entry-level work, it's like, yeah, it's something that I can do, whatever. But this one, I just have a little bit more of authority to make decisions and do things. So... Yeah, it's been a lot and I'm still new and there's still a learning curve. I'm still learning, I'm still growing. There's also just been like more changes with the job as well um, in terms of my environment and stuff like that. So it's been a lot of adjustments. And so I figured if I am able to kind of change the format of how I'm doing videos on here, it'll make it easier for me to be consistent on YouTube so that I'm maintaining a better work-life balance and I'm not like as stressed to finish all the things that I want to finish and that my head has time to like have that clarity and peace of mind instead of just being like going to one thing, going to the next or just being like, I can't do it. I just need to focus on one thing. So this way of me just doing like shorter videos is going to just help me have a better work-life balance because I have a nine to five. I do YouTube for fun because I truly, truly enjoy it and I really, really do love it. And yeah, so that kind of explains like why the videos are going to be changing and how I'm doing them. There's no longer going to be weekly weight loss videos or vlogs. They're just going to be shorter format, more concise, more pinpointed subjects and stuff like that. So that's that. Besides that, those are all the updates that I have. So really, really exciting stuff have a lot of exciting stuff coming planned for this YouTube channel and just being more lifestyle based in the content that I'm creating but also just like me moving me starting a new job 
the past two years like started a new job in 2020 started a new job in 2021 this year i am more busier than i've ever been in my life with work work alone it has been absolutely crazy but it's been really really cool and amazing and i feel very blessed to be able to have the opportunity to start a new job and work from home at least for right now so yeah expect to see some moving vlog content i don't know exactly how much i'm gonna do of that right now but i will share the space the thing is like i will share the space as i'm living in it i don't think i'm gonna do an empty apartment tour um but like if i do i might do like a vlog like a day in the life a realistic day in the life with me vlog during that time so you can kind of see like what moving is really like because moving in general is really stressful and then trying to record it and get the angles and all that stuff and make production of it 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 can make things <laughs> even more stressful but i really am very excited to be moving and have a new space a new layout to do things in and share my life with you guys um the little bit that you do get to see on here all very exciting things and i do appreciate all the love and support and everyone who subscribed and comments and likes the video gives the video a thumbs up i really really do appreciate it it is so amazing to see like each time i get a new subscriber i'm kind of just like in awe and in shock and freaking out because i'm like this is so exciting and really really cool so yeah there's that but I think that's it. I don't think I have any other updates. I feel like that was all the updates. That's a lot of information. I'm not trying to make this video too long because I because I want to edit and upload it ASAP. But yeah, thanks so much for watching till the end. I really truly do appreciate all of the support that you guys give me and it just blows my mind that I even have subscribers like it's just crazy so i appreciate you if you liked any portion of this video give this video a thumbs up subscribe so you can keep up to date with me and all the things that i'm doing and comment down below say hi i say hi back and don't forget to stay kind stay true and stay laughing and i will see you in the next one bye lighting is so much better whoa